Lord hath made, he calls the, his hours his own. Let heaven rejoice, let earth be glad, and praise surround the throne. Let us pray. As we gather in your house this fourth Sunday of Lent, help us open our hearts, our minds, our eyes, and our ears to welcome the Holy Spirit. Help us be still and know that you are here, and all that we do this morning might be pleasing in your sight. Amen.
God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In humility and faith, let us confess our sin to God. Please join me in our prayer of confession. O Lord, our God, we confess we have not kept your commandments. As a result, your church is mine, and our members are sovereign and useful. Forgive our failure to serve only you. Forgive our failure to reject vengeance on our enemies. Forgive our penalty of our enemies. In your mercy, reveal your church's complicity in sin. Sin that fears the world from experiencing the glory of our abundant life in Christ Jesus. The glory of his name and the hope of your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In silence, let us confess our personal complicity in sin that hinders our neighbors from experiencing an abundant life. Hear our prayers, Lord. Amen. God is merciful and full of grace. Our confessions have been heard. We are a forgiven people. Let us rejoice by singing.
The scriptures tell us our offerings to God through Christ are an expected and essential element in our worship of God. They are not for us alone, but are meant to serve Christ's global mission, and they are to be made in proportion to the blessings we have from the Lord. Let us worship the Lord with God's tithes and offerings. For the ushers, please come forward.